Hello everyone, it's Farker here, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 1. I decided I'm not going to live stream this one, I'm just going to go straight from the bat. Now, what this season's going to involve is a few things. I won't be using any mods whatsoever, because I don't think it's fair on the PlayStation players who watch my channel, because you won't be able to do the things I'm doing, and I won't be using console commands for the same reason. Now, I was going to show you a good place for beginners to go, and it's called the Fertile Lands with you. Most of you are probably aware of it. But there's a trick to <laughs> to get there. A really good one that I wasn't even aware of. But um, the Fertile Lands is good because it's got everything you pretty much need to start the game. Oh, I always seem to start here. I'm going to change the filter. Blockbuster. That's a little bit better. M131 is too bright. I always start this spot for some reason. I just got to quickly get everything out of the suitcases. There's not many because I'm doing it on hard survival. I actually, beyond this video, I'm not even kidding, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is take suggestions from you guys. So, first, I'll just quickly... Oh, there's a deer there. It's like a replica of that last season. The deer spawned right there. Uh, is he moving? Yeah, straight in the head. That was a good shot. Okay, so how to get to the fertile lands... You gotta do it right from the start while the sun's still up. You literally follow the sun. So I'll follow the sun, and I've tested this in um different spawn spots just to confirm it. It takes you the fertile land. So it's like follow the sun. It shows you to one of the best places in the game. So yeah, don't mess around too much, but um yeah, there's another trick. Oh, there's another deer. Good thing I turned around. If you place a flag near the a stick marker near the plane. Then you'll know how to get back there if you ever want to get back there. I don't know if that's going to hit. No. God, they run away. They get spooked very easily. You're really making me work for this meal, dear. Ah, you bastard. Got it. Now, unfortunately, I can't use the meat. But I don't want to waste it either, so what I'm going to do... I'm just going to build a drying rack here. So, just got some meat that will be here when I get back. If I ever come back here. So, one, two, three, four, because you only can carry four of them. Skin this big bird, and then I'll be able to carry another four meat. There we go. Oh, that's my spear. I recommend if you're new to the game, always do this, because it's very easy to lose your plane. So, stick marker, it's nice and cheap to build too. There we go. So, now I know where the plane is. You could do it for other points of interest, but yeah. So, if, yeah, follow the sun. So the sun was this way. <laughs> don't stuff red too much, otherwise the sun will be above your head and you won't know where you are. I've come across this little hut. This hut's good because it's got a lot of rope in it. And I need the rope for some bondage uh, porno scenes I'm going to be filming later on. Uh, did I get electrical tape? <gasps> no, I didn't. Okay, I'll just keep moving. There's the main cannibal village there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I should be killing these animals while I go along, but... Got no slingshot. So there's the sun there. And there's the fertile lands over there. Every place you spawn, if you run towards the sun, this is where you're going to end up. Around here somewhere. In the fertile lands. So what I'm going to do is just place a few things here. I think I did this last season. God, I'm doing the same crap as last season. I just like it here because it's tucked away and they can't come and get it. But I'm going to place a water collector there. And go get a turtle shell. The first two things I recommend everyone should build is a water collector and a drying rack. I need to keep an eye on my calories. You can see through the stick. So on hard survival, only one turtle spawns at a time. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Oh, that took unnecessarily long. Okay, back here. And that's it. Gonna build just a hunting lodge thing here. There's a crafted bow, but I've got no feathers. Oh, I should put that meat up. Oh, there's another deer over there. God. I never see this many deer. Especially on hard survival. Jeez. But he's legged it. He's way up there. Oh, I just accidentally drank a soda. Ah, oh, well. Just gonna make some weapons. Okay. Upgraded rock, upgraded stick. Uh, what have we got? Uh, got a spear already. Not making a crafted axe because it's completely useless and a waste of rope. What I will make is a... Uh, Water skin, because I can do that. 
assign some things. So four for my spear. Upgrade his stick and go number two. And I usually have a ranged weapon number three, but I don't have a slingshot and I don't have arrows, so I just have to deal with that. The way you should do it, oh, there's the deer over there, is whatever you're used to. Oh, got him. Keep it that way. So, like, um, have a system, like a, a way to cut down trees at, say, number one, or your main weapon at number one. A quick weapon at number two, that's what I do. Ranged weapon at number three and number four is I switch between the spear and the, the berry pouch. Uh, you'll find your own system just find a system stick to it don't change and that way you'll be able to play a lot better you won't forget where things are so i'm just going to get some rocks while i'm here it's a safe mushroom i think <laughs> i can always forget so i'm just going to try my luck at throwing rocks oh i missed him that was bullcrap how is this thing not dying <laughs> probably have more luck with a spear at this rate Come on. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> Stupid freaking rabbit. Ah, uh, there's two rabbits right there. Oh, just die. You stupid rabbit. <laughs> it's just... Oh, finally. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> uh, freaking hell. I'll make a little rock bag that way I don't run out of rocks when I'm throwing them oh there we go got some it just takes so long though here we go oh he ran back into it <laughs> this is actually quite fun it's probably more fun than the slingshot requires skill I need one more and then I can collect all the berries there's heaps of berries in the fertile lands as you can see it's blueberries everywhere aloe here quite a few Sweet. That was another one. Die, you bastard. I think I've only got like one rock left. I know. Just die. <laughs> Friggin' hell. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. All right. Piled up on some rocks to throw. Let's see if we can find that rabbit. Oh, I'm struggling to find him, but in the meantime, get rid of some of this meat, because it's quite a lot. Jesus, this is alright for hard survival. I'm going to grab some trees and finish off this hut before it gets night time. I just don't like playing during the night time. It's too dark and doesn't carry over well when I'm making the video. It's really hard to see what's actually going on. There we go. Base is up. Freaking log went flying over there. Jesus. Now to finish off the day, I can burn off the rest of his calories. Only 150. There we go. It was a long wait. There's the first day down. Didn't really encounter much. I need to eat. Drink that, but eat the meat. Let's get this bird. Oh, the bird's work. Ah, there's a rabbit there. Yeah, it takes more than one hit. Uh, I'm guessing three hits. Come on. Just get the slingshot, people. Don't do this. <laughs> Though I will admit it's fun, but it's frustrating at the same time. <laughs> but I can make a pouch from that. So I can go around and collect some berries. Now there'll be either cone flower or marigold here. Marigold. Still wet enough, I know. I need cone flower though. This place here is actually not a bad place to get skulls and sticks and um what else? Cloth. There's a lot of effigies here. It's a freebie. If you're playing on normal or hard mode, you're gonna get a lot more from this place. Especially animals. There we go, maxed out my berries. I'll just eat these ones. Might as well. There we go. All full up on the stats. Now I just really want to find some electrical tape. Ah, hello. Should check how much stuff I got. I'll make some health mixes while I'm here. There you go, maxed out the health mixes. Ah, the poison berries. 
on hard survival these two. I think 30 or 40 damage. Eat three or four and you're dead. So don't accidentally get the wrong thing out. And uh, same with the snow berries too. It's going to be pretty much every type of berry here. There you go, maxed out on twin berries too. I could probably max out on snow berries if I could find some more bushes, but I don't know where they are. you got to be careful coming out this far. They patrol up, up in there. They don't come down this way, I don't think. Unless they're looking for you. Oh, it's more aloe. Jesus, everywhere. Oh, it's more snow berries. Anyway, I think that's enough for one episode. So that is a good start for a beginner, I believe, because you don't have to go into any caves. You don't have to do anything like that. You just come here and then you let the, the land provide for you. And I managed to get quite a bit of stuff as well. I'm only on day one now, so I think I've done pretty well. Got a lot of meat. On normal mode or hard mode, you're going to have about four times as much meat as this if you get killing. But anyway, let me know what you think I should be doing this season. If you see comments of things you like, upload them. So I get to see what's most popular. Yeah, let me know what you think. I have ideas to build a boat again. I think I can do it a lot better than I did last season. The front of the ship is the hardest part, but um, I've got ideas to make it work. And it would also be a different way of building it, not using roofs and instead using basic walls. So it will be more invulnerable. The idea behind the ship was that it will actually be immune from the new mutant. You won't be able to reach it. So that's up to you. Let me know what you think. Okay, there they are there. Though I want to show you how to be a better player, so probably nothing that's too <laughs> ambitious. All these challenges that are out, like vegetarian diets and that, they're too easy. Because you can just survive on soda, which I can do easily. And a lot of berries, I just make a big garden. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.